Welcome back to 5 Minute Guide and today I'm going to show you how to use UV mapping um, with and without alpha channel. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this cube. So we're going to click X and then delete. We're going to go up here to add, go mesh and plane. So we'll add a plane there. Then we're going to move our camera right over the plane. So first thing we're going to do is bring on the Y axis. I'm going to hit the number key. Uh, one and then we can move it on the x-axis to go right over the object we're looking for and okay this was sorry number key three will change the camera position um, to this side and then we just need to rotate so um, we're going to rotate this on the z-axis so R and then Z we can rotate that around and see looks pretty good and then we'll rotate it on the x-axis and a little bit more so straight up and down hit zero and that's your active camera so there you go we can see our palette or plate here All right and so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into edit mode with tab and then hit u and then unwrap uh, for UV mapping. Now nothing looks like it really changed because we're just in the 3D uh, mode here. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to compositing for our views. This is our 3D um, window here. This right here is our render um, screen and right here is our UV map screen. So what we're going to go is we're going to go down to image. With, with this still selected, we're going to go down to image, open image, and then just find um, find your image that you're looking for. So we'll open that up. This is a fairly large photo, so zoom out a little bit there so you can see the whole thing. And what we're going to do is we can render this out right now, and it does nothing. It's just a blank, it's a blank slate still. It's still attached to it, but it's still just showing a blank slate. So what we have to do is go over to this little little ball over here and we have to add a new material so this is the materials tab we're adding a new material we're gonna go scroll down and go face textures so click on that and then we go and render the image and you can see that it is showing up um, these images are affected by light you can change um, the different uh, settings you know you can have it emit light you can have it translucent you know all sorts of stuff like that um, we're going to click on shadeless for this one um, and render that out just so you can see it a little bit better, a bit more defined. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is you can see this picture, um, you know, fully, it's all there. However, um, this is actually a transparent um, photo. It has an alpha channel, as you can see. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to activate that. We're going to go over to transparency click on that we're going to go down to face textures alpha and we go to render and now you can see that the alpha channel is working properly um, now you can edit these objects while they have UV um, data attached to them so we can like stretch this out and that will actually stretch out the image itself um, and you can you know move it around and whatnot and obviously it moves with um, with the object now in the UV editor you can do similar things where you can um, change how or what portions of the picture that you import um, are visible so for instance this part it's just this portion um, and that it'll just be that portion now remember scaling is going to be affected depending on how um, how this is being portrayed onto whatever this is so if you want it to be scaled properly you know you need to have it adjusted um, to the proper widths otherwise the things gonna get stretched obviously so uh, I hope this was helpful for you if it was, then subscribe. Uh, but if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comment area below. Thanks for watching. I'm Kyle with 5-Minute Guide.